Okay, um, so today we're gonna be making lemon pound cake. Um, I don't know about where you're at in the world, but here in North Carolina, um, trees are starting to bloom. It's starting to warm up. It's starting to feel like springtime. Um, and by it's starting to warm up, <laughs> last week it got up to like 80 degrees. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it's really starting to heat up here. And this time of year, um, I always want lemon type foods. I love like chicken piccata. There's a really great lemon orzo um, chicken type thing video. Um, that was really delicious. I like citrus this time of year. So today we're making a lemon pound cake. Um, it's one of my most favorite desserts and I hope you enjoy. So in our stand mixer, you're gonna add three sticks of softened butter, um, just room temperature, not softened, sorry. And then you're gonna add three cups of sugar. Um, and you're going to cream those together. I think that I did things out of order <laughs> for this recipe and I don't think that you'll be able to really see what happened on the video. Um, I also accidentally added an extra cup of flour that I wasn't supposed to. I hadn't had any coffee yet when I was making this pound cake. Um, so then once the butter and the sugar got mixed together really well, I zested a lemon and I added the zest and the juice of one lemon. It was about a tablespoon of lemon juice and, you know, about a teaspoon of lemon zest. If you were going to just use, um, oh, and I also added some vanilla extract. If you wanted to, you could just use lemon extract. You'd add about a tablespoon of lemon extract. So then I added my eggs and I realized um, while I was doing this, I should have added the milk first. <laughs> but everything worked out in the end, so I don't know that it really matters, but you're gonna add four eggs. And I just add those one at a time um, and then like give it a little mix and add another one. So then I added three cups of milk. First of all, I tried to pour in too much milk at one time while the mixer was going too fast and that was a terrible idea. It made a mess. But then my mixture kind of like weirdly separated. <laughs> this, this lemon pound cake was very chaotic. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm still, I'm still adding three cups of milk. You also want your milk to be room temperature. Um, so I, I should have done what I usually done when I make stuff like this where I have like a wet a wet and a dry and you know eggs usually come last you know like that kind of thing so here I am adding the flour I did four cups of flour and I added those one at a time um, if you were gonna do a wet and dry you usually do those in threes like you have three dries and two wet mixtures I, I don't know I don't know <laughs> It also made a ton of batter. So normally you would put this in like a round bunt pan, but I don't have one of those. And I thought surely a loaf pan would be plenty, but it made both, it filled up both of these loaf pans and two of my little tiny loaf pans. So if you don't have a round, <laughs> a round bunt pan, just be forewarned. It's, it makes a lot of cake. Um, anyways, so I, I prepared the, <laughs> It was just chaos this morning. And I baked it at 325 for about an hour and 20 minutes. It did take a long time to bake. But it was well worth it. So while that was in the oven, um, I made a little icing to go on top. This is about a cup of powdered sugar. And then I added about a quarter cup of milk. And um, if you wanted this to be thicker, you would just wanna add more powdered sugar or less milk probably, maybe like a tablespoon of milk at a time. Um, <clears throat> and I'm also gonna add a little bit of lemon extract and a little bit of vanilla extract to this icing as well. Um, you could add some cream cheese, like some room temperature cream cheese, that would be really good. Um, you only need about like a quarter teaspoon total really of extract otherwise it'll give it kind of a really strong flavor so these came out of the oven they cooled off a little bit I'm too impatient to let them cool down completely 
I was burning my fingers doing this. I tapped on the bottom. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but I, I poured the icing over. Um, wow, that's really pretty. That's a good shot. I did good. And then I cut the end off and I was so excited to taste it. I, I just couldn't wait. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching.